Hi, the Fobo. <laughs> wow, said every single word at once. I don't know. Hobo, bo, bo, bo. Hi there folks, welcome back to the Over Andy Fishing Channel. Ivy, how are you doing? I'm alright, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm alright, thank you. We've just snuck down to the River Wye, haven't we? We have. I, I think just enjoy the spinner fall. Yeah, yeah, well that's the hope. We're, we're bang in the middle of the Mayfly season now and we're hoping we're going to get a bit of a spinner fall. We've missed out the middle of the day because it's been very hot and bright. We've got down, it's nearly 7 o'clock in the evening. It's pretty late even by our standards and I'm always late for everything. Um, but we're hoping that we might catch like two hours, two and a half hours of good quality Mayfly spinner fall fishing. How are you feeling about it? I hope so. I hope so. I mean, I haven't been down on the Y for probably since the last time we fished here. Yeah, it's been a while for you. Um, I've chose just to go to different rivers, but yeah, no, I really, I really hope so because Y does have a, a big, well, a big amount of quality, good fish. Well, that's what we're kind of hoping so for, isn't hope. it? I don't think we've come down to catch twenty. But if we could get a couple of nice ones, I think we could possibly squeeze a little vlog out of that. Yeah, absolutely. Assume from the fact that you're watching this right now that there is something worth watching. Because if we don't catch anything, we'll we wouldn't be probably just put this one in the bin, to be honest. Uh, but before you're allowed to watch any fishing happening, you have to subscribe to our little fishing channel. It's starting to grow really quickly, isn't yes, it? Yes, it has grown. So we, we are really appreciative and so thankful for all the support, guys. It doesn't really mean a lot because it's just... Us. It's just us, just us, one camera, a couple of GoPros, and we're trying to make it work as best we can, aren't we? Yeah. It's really fun, so please subscribe to the channel, go and watch some other videos, like as much stuff as you possibly can, and at the end of this video, drop us a comment in the comment section below. Let us know how you think we got on on the subject of getting on. Let's go. We and probably ought to crack get on. on. I, need, I really need a fish as well. You need a fish, don't you? It's been a lot, it's been a while, like 24 hours now. <laughs> Look at you. Let's go. Righty. Real techy, difficult fish this. Proper bow and arrow cast. I'll probably only get one or two chances on this guy. I apologise if you can't see much at the moment. Get myself organised slightly. Ideally, while I'm here, I'd like to see him rise once. Just so I can get a feel for where he is. Yeah, he's right underneath there. Out there. I didn't hear him, so we'll lift that out and go again. That didn't quite get the cast right. That might be okay. No. Tricky fish this. Real tricky one. I had a shout from IB there that could be a good shout, but I was actually not reaching the fish. It's further downstream than I realised. So I've actually walked the other side of him to see if I can get a better angle from here. It's a, it's a bit of a mare of a cast. But she may well be right actually. From where he from where he rose last time I saw him, I actually probably wasn't getting anywhere near it. Gonna fly on the water so it's out of the way. Okay. Let's try it. Okay, I don't think it'll cover the fish, but it's not a bad it's not a bad sighter at the very least. You know, it's not that far off actually. It drags a bit there, but it's not the end of the world. We've risen again. I've actually just taken the chance to change the fly. I've, I've gone away from that spinner just for the moment and put on the, put on the old classic Fuller Mill Mohican. Just wait for that wind to blow through, I think. He's actually a bit further back than I thought he was. He's much closer to me than I realised. Oh, I've said that he has just risen slightly further up. I need this wind to, I need this wind to go away because there's no way I can get a good drift to this fish while that wind's blowing straight at me. That might be my window there. Yeah, it might not be as well. That was terrible. Interesting fish. This. I know he's taking mayfly. I've watched him eat them. Uh, I feel like my drifts are pretty good. Interested to find out just what I'm doing wrong at the moment because I feel like I should have risen this fish.
bit further up. Might be a bit far out that one. Got him, got him. Yes, 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 yes. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, I've gone right under the tree. Right under the tree. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not under the tree. Oh, no, it's terrible under there as well. I can still feel the fish. Low rod, steady pressure. It's miles under there. Come on, come out, come out. Oh, he feels really wrapped up. Oh no. Oh, I think he's done me. I think he might be off already. Oh, I felt him. No, he's still on. He's still on. I just don't know what I can do with him. Will you come through? Will you come through? Yes, I've got him through. Got him through. Thanks, Abby. Alright, let's keep him away from that tree now. Nice fish. Nice fish. Absolutely pounding. I'd be just asking me how my heart rate is. Oh, now he's under this tree. Come on, in you come, in you come. That'll do, that'll do. Yes! Woohoo! What a fish that is. Uh, do you know what? I owe that one to IB because she called the spot change. I wasn't reaching the fish, but when I changed the angle, I could make the cast. IB, that one's half yours. Yes! Come on! I'm actually still shaking a bit. <laughs> so, was so cool. I can't believe that just happened. Uh, as I say, IB was massive help in that, just calling the change of angle. But obviously that meant that as soon as he took it and felt the resistance of the hook, he just shot straight into the tree. I have no idea how I've got away with landing that fish. I seem to have a happy knack of getting away with these at the moment. But just with that slow, steady pressure, no panic, you know, I wasn't wrenching the rod, just keeping it down, slow, steady pressure, eventually turned him. I'm going to lift him up here. I'm going to try and get my hands wet while I can. Lots of water. How about this for a fat, chunky, wild and very lively mayfly muncher. What a beauty that is. Absolutely beautiful fish. We're going to get him straight back. It's a hot day. So it's not going to be the the graceful slow-mo release we like because we can't get close enough to the water but we'll just reach out with the net loads of oxygen try and get him facing the right way if I can there he goes shot straight off right into the middle of the pool what a start that is <laughs> I can't believe that's just happened so backstory to this is that I actually found this client uh, this client this fish a couple of days ago with a client and we tried and tried and tried and just couldn't get it to move and eventually we moved on and I said to IB when we came to this spot I just want to have a look under this little bush in this back eddy see if this fish is there and sure all of a sudden pop 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 I thought I'd blown it to be honest but with a little bit of help from my faithful assistant guide IB we saved the day now I reckon it's your turn right so and he did very very well at catching that brownie i am not jealous in slightest he's keeping his way there i've just seen a, a brownie downstream from where he caught his and as long as i don't spook him in the process of getting some line out oh there he is i might have a chance in catching him Just passed him and it landed horribly. That might have a chance, but it's miles too far. Okay. This wind is actually not helping me. <laughs> right, so I messed one fish up. Hopefully I don't mess this one up. But who knows with me? Who knows? Maybe just on his tail. Too far out. Okay. 
Yep. 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 Oh shit! A flying trout. Oh shit! Oh, it's like the tiniest little guy. Ah. Oh. This is where a long net comes in handy. Yay! Okay. Oh. I'm not sure. At first, what I was doing wrong, I didn't think I was doing anything wrong, if I'm honest. But it took quite a few, ooh, fish rose, but it took quite a few attempts. It's not as big as Andy's, just by a few millimetres, but uh, it's still a very good fish. Oh, that was freaking cool. I like casts where you have like overhanging trees and you have to do a little mend when you drop it. It's, it's cool, isn't it? That was technical. That was a really cool so... one. Yeah, that's that, actually, that's two pretty technical different but cool fish yeah and i'm it, a bit sad about the first one that i messed up a little bit that's uh, unfortunate but uh, it happens it happens you don't mess them all up that's for sure you get most of them right i reckon that is true interesting both browns i know yes uh, no, so no, no, so no. again a bit of background here is that actually the vast majority of the fish we've been catching in recent weeks are the rainbows but it just looks like maybe those browns have started to figure it out a little bit and i do wonder if that we've because we come later that yeah. may have made a difference and perhaps these browns feed a little bit later in the day than the rainbows do, I don't know. One thing for sure, it was worth coming out, wasn't it? Absolutely, yeah. And I don't know what you were saying about yours being just a couple of centimetres short than mine. D millimetres, millimetres, thank you. yeah, millimetres short. They were pretty, pretty much the same size. They were pretty much the same size. size you couldn't compare matter, mine because I wasn't holding mine in my hand. It was just on the net and the net is massive, so you couldn't really. That's true, actually. Tell. Size doesn't matter, IB, does it? No, it does not. That's what Andy keeps telling me anyway. <laughs> should we try and find some more jackets or should we go. go home? No, no, let's go find some You don't some want to go fish. home? No. Do you no. want to carry on catching mayfly definitely, feeders? Definitely want to carry sure? on. Yes, definitely 100%. Let's, let's go and find go. some more. Okay, IB and I have kept moving up the river and we've found a whole pool full of risers. Uh, unfortunately, it means a, a nasty cast off the wrong shoulder into a wind, which I'm not in love with, but... If it's what we've got to do, we'll try it. I think it's a real difficult one, this. Especially when you've got your line tangled. We'll give it a go. Yeah, it pushes it from right to left. That's not bad, actually. It's okay. I think it's short of where it needs to be, but as a sighter, it'll do. Another yard or so. Oh yes, 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 that covers fish, that covers fish. Uh, it doesn't rise any though. What went wrong there? Is it just me or these fish going to be quiet? No. no maybe not. <laughs> Okay, I've hooked a fish. I don't know what my GoPro's just done. We might not be recording this at the moment. No idea what's just happened. Hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> That's a nice brown. Nice brownie. Yeah, good stuff. Um, yeah. The, so IB and I have bought ourselves new action cameras. We've got some DJI Osmos and uh, that just turned itself off. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> Hopefully IB got it all on camera. So I apologise if the footage there isn't great, but it's a beautiful wild brownie. Real nice one. We're not going to keep him out for too long. Lovely fish. Took it at just the right or just the wrong time, depending on what you reckon. We'll get him straight back. There you go, buddy. IB, I have a feeling this could be a good evening. There are mayfly spinners everywhere. There's fish rising everywhere. We only came out for a couple of hours to see what it's like. It looks like this could be one of those sessions. Let's get fishing. By the tree, yeah? yeah. That was a oh, cast. So it was it needs to be upstream from the tree, doesn't it? Just in the floating stuff. Yep, just taking the line. Ooh. 
Oh yeah. I think the drag is set pretty hard. Oh, it's a big fish. It's a good fish. It's a good fish, this one. Oh, please don't do that. Please stop doing that. Please stop doing that. Oh, it's not that big, actually. I did an Andy. Oh, they look so much bigger when they jump, don't they? Oh no, why are you here? It's swimming in the net. It's in the net. Oh. How many times did it jump? Like four times. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful brownie. It turns out that I was making the cast and I wasn't just going upstream enough. I needed to be, then the first cast that literally the first cast that landed a bit more upstream and the fish took the fly. It's so cool to fish the mayfly spinner. Look at this beautiful fish. We're gonna put him straight back in now. No messing around. There he goes. That was one beautiful brownie and that is one happy IB. I think it's Andy's turn. While the fish are still rising, we might still be able to catch a few more. This is epic fishing. Nothing better than a mayfly, it's beautiful. Okay, so we've got a, at least one right, well there's two, there are two risers, I thought so. Right close in on this inside edge. It's a real stalky spot this is. I feel like I've got to get this right within the first couple of casts, probably. That's pretty good. Come on. Come on, up you come. Got him. Oh, no. Oh, I felt him. Ah, oh, there's another fish just risen a bit further up. Close. Got that one. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, he's off as well. Ah! <laughs> Just said off camera, I beat. We've hit all of our takes so far. We're doing really well. And now I've missed one and lost one. Jinxed it. My fault. Sorry, YouTube. That was my fault. But I really want to find another one. Okay, so IB has been good enough to let me stay on strike, even though I messed that last pool up. And we've come to another pool. It's got some really active cruisers in it. Fish just moving around, taking bugs off a fairly static area. It's almost like still water fishing, this is. Although those two at the top are getting hard to ignore. I wonder if I can skitter that down to that guy right below me. Right below me. A little bit of movement on the fly, maybe. Come on, up you come. Ooh, moving around a lot fish everywhere it's just about picking your picking your moment picking your fish this is there's a lot of food on the water seems like the highest activity is up at the top of the pool i don't feel like those fish are quite as big but they're definitely more active let's try and drop one on that cruiser just about patience this is so difficult because there's so many fish rising around me i'm convinced that the biggest one is the one that i'm targeting out in the middle here I'll hold my nerve a little bit on this because I know there are other fish that I could have caught by now but I really want that cruiser many unbearable hours later that was got him, got him. little splasher not the not the monster that's cruising around but she's gone pretty quiet in the last oh we've gone for that tree it's gone pretty quiet in the last 20 minutes or so I've kind of made a bit of a mess of this pool to be honest I'm just glad to be hooked up to anything. Come on, get him. Get him. Little splasher, come on. Yay. There. Oh, <laughs> doing my best to knock him off. Come back. Come back. There he goes. Second attempt. <laughs> Let's have a look at you. Where's the hook? Yeah, hooks out. That's good news. Come well on, buddy. Strong little rainbow. Time for one more IB, I reckon. Let's get you back. IB, I've messed this pool up a little bit. Come and show me how it's done. 
I've been struggling to see things a little bit, so for the last couple of casts, she's actually given me the rod back. I must admit, it's pretty dark, though I have just seen a fish rise. I can just about see. Chance for one more, maybe. Still gonna get the cast right. That won't be far off. Got him. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Just managed to see the fly. I have left the net down there, so I'm gonna have to play him down into the pool. Whoops, forgot about that. Where did I leave the net? Oh God, it's all the way up here. This has been a, a nice little demonstration of how not to play a fish so far. Fortunately for the time being, it's still on. A bit more control now. Ah, it's a reasonable fish. Definitely worth the last cast. They love supping these spinners and even though there's not many in the air anymore, there's plenty still dead on the surface and they are looking for them. This guy's strong, clearly been on them all day. Powerful fish. Nice brown, nice brownie. Are you gonna come in? No, it's still got energy. Stay away from those reeds. Oh, he's caught on something. What are you wrapped around there? Oh, no. Not this again. We had this earlier. He is really wrapped up on something there. Will it come off? Try the other angle. Wow, I can, I can see the fish. That's a frustrating thing. I can't see what he's around. I think the fish is off. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. There's a branch down there that I couldn't see because it's dark. Ah, oh, dang it. That was a nice brown as well. Mm, that's so frustrating. Obviously, with it being pitch black, I couldn't see the big branch that must have been put there by the flood sticking up. He's got me around the branch and eventually eased himself off. Bugger. Well, a little bit frustrated about that last hour. I felt like I could have made a bit more of it, but I guess overall, we've not done too bad there. I think this is the problem is when you have a, a river this good where you can't really decide which big fish to go for. And I find that last year, that was my biggest thing, that I was missing fish and not catching the fish because I kept moving from one fish to another. It's actually something that Andy told me to stop doing, is like pick a fish, pick the most regular feeder and target that fish and stop moving around because I, wa I was moving and couldn't decide which fish to go for and I think that's that's the problem we kind of had tonight. There's too many big fish around. It's so easy to just get in a pool like that and just chase fish and that's all too what I did. I never really settled down on one, particularly with those cruisers. You can't really settle on those no. because they're always moving. You kind of just have to leave that fly there and hope that something comes past it and I was just unlucky. I think that this time it didn't. We definitely had some interesting fish, some quite difficult casts and some stalking and you know crawling on your knees like it, it is a lot of fun and unfortunately we're probably not going to get a, another chance in time soon to fish together because Andy's flat out guiding for the next two weeks which is usual this time of the year so it's very kind of you to book a day off just to go fishing <laughs> um, and I think we just need to be grateful for the fish we did had. Well given that I bet between us we haven't fished for an hour. Oh no, no not a chance, not a chance and the, the, the really annoying and frustrating thing is is that we were we were conned by our action cameras because oh, we lost God. like 35 minutes of the best spinner fall to trying and get them sorted yeah so it turns out when you buy a dji osmo action you have to register it with an email address and passwords and all that stuff but i didn't know that until it happened so we literally spent half an hour 40 minutes in the middle of nowhere having to download apps and register stuff email addresses all that crap Really frustrating. I, I think that's cost us at least a fish. Oh, more, more than a fish. Literally, that was the best spinner spinner fall happening right then when we were trying to download the apps and yeah. trying to register and give our all of our life information to someone else. So yeah, lesson learned. Read the user manual before you go out and use tech. But it's been pretty cool. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you have, please press the like button. We'd really appreciate that. 
please subscribe to the channel and leave a nice comment for me below not for Andy, for me, he doesn't deserve <laughs> anything because he already hogged the rod and took from Sorry. me my fishing time yeah. so bye for now and we will see you probably after Mayfly take care folks bye guys bye bye